This is the compound interest accumulated balance calculator for MathCelebrity.com. To get there, you could type something like compound interest or compound interest accumulated balance. We also have shortcuts, which I'll show you in a little bit. So go ahead and press the calculator. So we've got three entry boxes, your initial balance, the number of periods that interest is going to accrue, and your nominal annual interest rate. So we'll get into this in a second. So let's go ahead and run this monthly. So at 5.25% on an annual basis, compounded monthly, what we're going to do is get our interest rate per month. There's going to be 20 months, so we increase our balance, and this is our final answer. Now let's go ahead and run quarterly. So this time we've got 0.13125 per quarter. We've got 20 quarters and here's our final balance. Let's do daily. So this is our interest rate per day. We've got 20 days and here's our new balance after 20 days. So when you're entering interest rate, you're, remember you're entering it on an annual basis. So even if it's compounded every day, you need to enter your nominal interest rate and then tell it how many periods there's going to be and what the compounding is and the calculator will go ahead and convert that to your to your compounding amount per period. So let's run a different problem. Let's actually use the generate practice problem button and then I'll generate a random problem. So 931 is our initial balance, 20 periods, and 9.38 nominal interest rate. Let's run weekly. So go ahead and press weekly. So there's 52 weeks in a year. So we get our interest per period. And we run that for 20 weeks. And we get 965.17 after 20 weeks. So there's two more things I want to show you. We do have a quiz generator for this lesson that will kind of give you random quiz problems that, that will grade and time you. For more information on that, you can visit the video link under this folder. This folder right here. Finally, I want to show you the shortcuts. So, you can go ahead and we'll type this one. If you tell it a balance for the number of periods, and you have to state periods, and then you type your interest rate, and then the amount that's going to be compounded, go ahead and press this. So it ran 2,000 for 20 periods on a monthly basis, so 20 months at 6% nominal. So it's going to convert 6%, so it's one half of 1% every month. We're going to run it for 20 months, and we get our final balance. So it's pretty cool. You can run your problem directly from the search engine. If you do have any more questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the Contact Us link. Thanks for watching.